Hi friends, in this video I'm gonna discuss about the various defects related to the human eye or the various kinds of imperfections which are related to the human eye. Friends, you know the eye is the only part of our body by which we can see the beautiful world or we can enjoy the beauty of the nature. But there are various kinds of defects which may lead to the improper working or improper function of the um, functioning of the eye due to which we we are unable to see the world properly guys there are the basically four main defects related to the human eye main defects there are the four main defects first one is myopia myopia Guys, myopia is a defect in which a person is unable to see the far object. Or you can say that a person is unable to see the distance object. Unable to see distant object. Means a person can't see the far object but he can easily, easily see nearby objects that is why it is known as the it is known as the near sightedness near sightedness my page also known as near sightedness okay guys let's understand it with the help of diagram diagram showing myopic eye diagram showing myopic eye hey guys you know friends uh, suppose it's the eyeball of human eye it's the converging lens or the convex lens or the lens of human eye suppose it's an object O O is the object okay guys then suppose the rays are coming from the objects these are the ray here we are taking only two rays and the, you know it's a converging lens that's why it will converge but friends <coughs> because it is myopia that's why the lens is unable to converge properly ray on retina it converts the ray before the retina it just converts the ray before the retina it's the retina but image is not formed on retina image is formed in front of retina that's why a person is unable to see the far objects image in front of retina here i here image in front of retina okay guys in myopia a person is unable to do unable to see the far objects or it may be because the eye, size of eye lens become bigger in myopia the size of eye lens become bigger uh, so we can write the main point the size of eyeball become bigger or larger become larger that's why uh, the retina shifts backward and the power of converging lens is fixed it's only converge it here before the retina but the eyeball size become larger that's why the proper image is not formed in the eye of a person okay guys let's see how myopia can be corrected Let's understand the correction of the myopia or the process by which myopia can be corrected by which method we can correct the myopia guys let's discover the correction of myopia
okay guys as you have as you have seen that the converging lens of i is unable to converge properly the rays coming from the objects to the retina it converges it before the retina it means if we diverge the rays coming from the objects and then after that they are converged by the lens of human eye it may be possible that they will properly focused on the retina that's why we make use of we make use of concave lens concave lens to get rid of myopia means guys if we you if a optician or if if a eye specialist provide a glass having concave lens to a person suffering from myopia then he is able to see the objects properly let's understand by the example by the diagram suppose it's an myopic eye person it's the eye it's an eye of a myopic person suppose it's it is an object and it's a concave lens which is fitted in the glass of the patient okay guys these are the rays coming from the objects you know friends convex concave lens is known as diverging lens it has the property of to diverge the rays coming on it it will diverge them you can see that these rays have been diverged okay guys after that the converging lens of human eye will converge them on retina that's why final image on retina we get the final image on retina okay guys